Hello and welcome to this learning video. As discussed in the last lecture, the fitting of exponential and power curves. We have already taken the fitting of exponential curve, and in this learning video, we are going to fit this power curve for the given data. So let us start with it. And the working as far as the working rule is concerned, we will be going to apply the same working rule with some slight changes. Okay, because here we will be getting different normal equations. So see here, we have to fit this given curve. So you can write like let y is equal to a x to the power b be the curve. To be theta, where, where what is a and b? Where a and b are constants. A and b are constants to be determined. Constants to be determined. Is it okay up to this? Step one is over. Now what we gonna do? We gonna take log on both sides of equation one. We just need to write one sentence over here. Taking log on both sides. Taking log on both sides. We get. So what I will be getting after taking log on both sides? This is log y to the base ten. I am not intentionally writing because in the last lecture some of you may be confused like whether it is to the base ten or whether it is to the base e. In statistics, it is always to the base ten. Okay, this is log of a x bar b to the base ten. Now apply the property of log. This is going to be log of a into b is log a plus log b. Okay. Now this is log a to the base 10 plus log x to the power b to the base 10. Now again apply the property of logarithm. So it would be log a to the base 10 plus apply the property of log. This is log of x to the base 10. Here we have used the property log of a into b is equal to log a plus log b. Okay, and here we have used log of a bar m is equal to m log a. Right? Now continuing further, what we have in the left hand side, we have log y to the base ten is equal to what is it? Log a to the base ten. Plus b log x to the base ten. Now sometimes students get confused, like which one to take capital and which one to take smaller. So as you can see here, log is attached to this y, so you can directly write that is capital y. Log is attached to a, so you can write capital a. Is log attached to b? No. So I am writing this b as it is. Is log attached to 10? Yes. So I am writing this capital. Here you can write where y stands for log y to the base 10. X stands for log x to the base 10. And a stands for log a to the base 10. Okay. Now we got a straight line, and you know how to solve or how to fit a straight line for the given data. So just try to write down the normal equations for this. So I am writing here: normal equations are normal equations are. Now I can pause the video for few seconds. Try to write down this uh, normal equation for this, and come back. Okay, because now you are smart enough to write down the normal equations. Okay, so 
let us see the normal equations now here we have constant a and b two constants how many normal equations two so multiply the multiply by the coefficient of constant and take summation so here it is coefficient 1 here it is coefficient x right so when you multiply this equation by 1 you will get the same thing now take summation this is summation a summation 1 a summation 1 that is n so i am writing directly as n b summation x okay now what is the second constant b and what is its coefficient x so multiply this equation throughout by x and take summation when you multiply this by x it will be getting x y a x plus b x square now you take the summation 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 over here and summation over here also. okay now you have this equation say this is to be equation number 2 and this is to be equation number 3 so we have equation 2 and 3 right and to get the values of unknowns what i need i need summation y summation x y summation x and summation x square and for all these summation we will move to the tabular calculations before that let me write down the number of data here the number of given data is n is equal to How much? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six data is given to you. Now let's move to the tabular calculation. So I have done the tabular calculations over here. Okay, we have x and y, and looking at the normal equation, I need summation x and summation y, summation x y and summation x square. So first I have to find out capital x and y, and what is this capital x? log x to the base 10 similarly capital y is y log y to the base 10 okay so i have done all these calculations with the help of calculator okay now after getting these values of summation substitute the values of all these in equation number 2 and 3 so equation 2 implies so what is equation 2 equation 2 is summation y what is summation y 4. 3133 is equal to n n is 6 so this is 6a plus b as it is summation x so this is 2.8571 small b it is okay and likewise substitute the values of unknowns from the table in equation 3 summation x1 that is 2.2667 is equal to what is it a summation x so a what is summation x summation x is this so this is 2.8571 a plus what is next next is b summation x square so b and summation x square value is 1.7744 see this is to be equation number 4 This is to be equation number five. What is our objective? Our objective is to find out the values of small a and small b. So when you solve equation four and five, you would be getting value of a to be point four seven four zero, and value of small b is comes out to be point five one four zero. Is it it? Now, after getting these values of capital A and small b, we have to find out the value of small a because our ultimate aim is to get these constants a and b. So half part is already done. We have b already there. So we just need to find out this a. But what is this capital A? Capital A is log a to the base ten. Okay. So capital A is log a to the base ten. We can write, but a is equal to log a to the base ten. This implies 
a is equal to a to the power 10. So this comes out to be 2.9785. Now you got the value of small a is equal to b. You substitute in equation a to get the required curve for the given power curve for the given data on which power curve can be heated. So equation 1 becomes equation 1 becomes y is equal to a what is a 2.9785 into b to the into x to the power b it is right x to the power b so this is x power b is 0 0.5140 so this is nothing but the curve of best fit so i hope you might have understood the things that have been done there are so many calculations you must be very precise with the calculations because one mistake and the entire problem becomes wrong okay so just take care of the calculation part so this is what we have in this learning video thank you for watching this learning video and happy learning